Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. I will just dive into the technical analysis quickly and for those who don't have the time, I have the timestamp so you can go quickly to the price analysis in the USDT later on this video. So what, where are we now guys? We have these support levels 1.65, 1.43, 1.88 as a resistance level and the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, the 2.07. I started this Fibonacci retracement from the top down to this bottom right here guys where we approached 19th May because I wanted to find serious resistance levels in case we were going upwards. So in case we were going upwards I want to find possible resistance levels. So here are we guys we found 2.07 resistance level before we are going down. The 0.618 is as you can see here Fibonacci retracement. So right now we are going into a squeeze point. The higher lows, as you can see here, on a more of a mid-term uh, trend line and lower highs. Eventually, after here, we will decide if we are going down or upwards. I will tell you later exactly my thoughts on it. And right now, let's see the MACD. The MACD, guys, as I told you before, doesn't look good. And the reason is not because of this bearish cross. Don't have in mind only this bearish cross. But we were having now, we approached the bottom here and we crossed this beautiful line that we wanted to hold as a support level because we wanted to see higher lows and higher highs. Okay, so right now we are beyond this level, we are going down from this level. And what we want to see is that we might as well go upwards, recrossing and then forming some higher low pattern. But this is not the case for now. So I won't go in depth of what might happen, I will go in what we have right now. And right now we are having a bear situation for the short term. Okay, so right now we are going to the RSI and the Komodo Channel Index. I told you guys that we might be able to see lower highs. And the reason I told you is because that we broke this line, this very, very nice line right here that we were seeing some higher lows. Okay, and eventually right now we are experiencing lower highs. That's why we are going now to more of the depths here for the commodity channel index. We don't have any overbought or any oversold situation, guys. We are inside the uh, we are inside the, the the gray zone, and what we want to see is if we can go below minus 100. Therefore, we might have a buying opportunity, but the Bitcoin has to stabilize or go upwards. That's where we have buying opportunity in the minus 100 area below the minus 100 area for the commodity channel index. And the reason I prefer commodity channel index over RSI is because sometimes it can give us better buying opportunities for the short term. For example, the RSI here might be inside the purple area, but we might have a buying opportunity and the RSI won't tell us that. Okay, so right now what we want to see is higher lows. Eventually, for me, in my opinion, guys, I'm sorry to tell you that, but I think RSA will go down all the way, making some new lower lows. I hope, I really hope, this will be something else. And of course, we can see Matic Network going upwards, okay? But I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about anything now. I will explain that in my price analysis. Right now, according to the SSL channel, we don't have a buying opportunity because the red line is above the green line. So you can see here against the format against USDT, but in the daily frame, where are we for the midterm? For the midterm, guys, we haven't seen this cross. And as we haven't seen this bearish cross, we can't assume that we are going for the mid long term downwards. Okay. We can't assume that Matic reached the peak and it is going downwards. As long as this doesn't happen, guys, as long as this cross remains the same, we won't be assuming that. And the reason I am telling this is because right now the commodity channel index on the daily frame has not gone in any lower lows that we are approaching. Okay, on the daily frame, we are still good. We still hold this line for the commodity channel index and for the RSI, it is the same, guys, but we are in a danger zone. If we can extend down from this line, then this will mean, guys, that we might go even further down. So be careful, but also, also, we haven't lost our signs yet for the mid long term. We are inside the Bollinger Bands right now and you can see how many times we have extended the top line of the Bollinger Bands. It was insane. If this didn't happen, guys, if this major correction didn't happen, Matic would go upwards all the time. No, nothing would stop it. Okay. 
nothing would, would stop it. The uh, adaption was there, the collaborations were great, the fundamentals are great, nothing was stopping Matic, but eventually we had this big correction and thus we were going downwards. Okay, we were going downwards because the correction destroyed the technical analysis, as I've told you, because the correction made us having some lower lows, lower highs for the RSI, for the Commodity Channel Index, we couldn't keep our momentum and it got destroyed. So for now, for the matches against Bitcoin, what we see in the 4-hour frame is that we move down from the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, guys, this level right here. And what we want to see right now is that might we might go down furthermore, down to this level, for example, 0.403941, okay? So we might go down to this level for Matic against Bitcoin and this won't be good for the short term because if Matic against Bitcoin underperforms and Bitcoin drops, then you can see the reason that Matic in the USDT valuation will drop even more. That's what it means when an altcoin underperforms for the short term. I'm talking about the short term, guys. We are still having the 50 day EMA below the 10 day EMA. Don't get me wrong here, but as long, and as long as we don't see that cross, then we are absolutely fine. Okay, but right now we have to be careful and we might experience some lower lows for the Matic against Bitcoin. Let's go to Matic against Bitcoin in the daily frame. And on the daily frame, guys, we are standing pretty, pretty good. We just want to see where we will go. For example, here, guys, let's say that at this peak, at this peak, 0.4066, let's say that Bitcoin was 100K. If it was 100K in USDT valuation, then Matic here would be $6, $6.6. So we are far away from this uh, target yet because Bitcoin uh, goes downwards for the short term. And of course, Matic against Bitcoin is losing some momentum due to the high risk here. But of course, guys, for the daily frame, we are going insanely good. I want to show you something. I want to show you the weekly frame. Look at the weekly frame, guys. We haven't seen a bearish candle since 12th April. The only bearish candle we saw are 1st March and, of course, some around 29 March or so. On the March, we were bearish. In, uh, we weren't bearish, guys, but you can see here that we almost were bearish, but we are going upwards. We were going upwards from that time, hitting this stop right now. Then we might consolidate for a bit. That is not wrong, but for the mid-long term, we still look pretty fine. So do not worry, guys, about your position on Matic. For the mid-long term, we are holding there. Hold your position and, of course, put a big smile in your face. So right now, where are we going? I will start first with Bitcoin against USDT valuation. Okay, I will start first with this because I believe, guys, many of us, many of other uh, technical analysts or other people, guys, believe that this was the bottom. I hope I am wrong, but I personally don't believe this was the bottom. I personally believe that we will move towards the 28,000 USDT. I don't believe this here was the bottom. I'm sorry to say this is my personal belief. I hope I am wrong, but for the short term, we might consolidate even more before we are going to establish and make uh, this pattern until we go upwards again. So we might go and correct some more. And what will happen, according to my opinion, guys, according to what I see, is with that, that Bitcoin might correct even a little more than stabilize. In this phase, where we will see bouncing uh, up and down between a Bitcoin, altcoin phase will start soon and altcoins will get dominant. That means we will be seeing altcoins against Bitcoin, uh, many altcoins against Bitcoin, not all of them that we, it will outperform Bitcoin. Therefore, in this phase, I believe that we will see Matic, we will see other altcoins as well outperforming Bitcoin. But for now, let's go to Matic against USDT. We are going now into a squeeze point, guys. As you can see, lower highs, higher lows. Okay, eventually we will get into here where we will, where we will see where we will go. And of course, guys, if Bitcoin corrects even more, Matic can't help it but follow Bitcoin. So 1.44 is a possible scenario for Matic. For the long term, someone asked me if we can approach this level or here, guys. And of course, we can. For the long term, we can approach even higher numbers 
format it for now because we are in a bearish market because there is a very fear because there is manipulation towards Bitcoin then we might be a little bit safe we might want to just wait a little bit be patient and see where Bitcoin will go for example here guys 1.66 will be tested again that's for sure for me in my opinion around here will be tested again and maybe if we can't hold the 1.67 USDT then we will be falling to 1.43 so everything is possible now because Bitcoin in my opinion that's my personal belief it will correct more and I will explain why to, through the technical analysis guys I don't need anything else I will explain I will tell you some indicators that are saying this first of all we are finding resistance down from the 200 EMA in the daily frame since this has to happen guys since uh, I don't think it was before like 30 May 2020 this had to happen since April 2020 almost a year after so right now we are finding resistance in the daily frame in the daily uh, 200 EMA exponential moving average. Also, the one, the next reason that we might correct even more is the cross here, the bearish cross between the 50 day MA and the 10 day MA. Next is the RSI, guys. The RSI that we are having now high, lower lows and lower highs, uh, lower highs. Sorry. And second, the um, uh, one important one is because we were finding a top here and we, now we are going a little bit downwards. We won't to go downwards this is a correction that we expect to happen not so much guys not like 50 percent just one day this was a manipulation of course but we expected a correction for bitcoin therefore we might correct even more and i have one more for you guys let's see the macd let's go to the macd and see if we can have it here on the charts and the reason is if i go to the weekly frame you can see on the macd that we had to see this bearish cross since many many times before 28th September was the last time but we couldn't gain of course uh, this bearish cross we couldn't gain some further distance and thus we were going upwards but right now this is not the case as you can see the blue line is going down and down so that means I believe that Bitcoin will correct more according to my technical analysis I will trust this for now and you have to be careful because here we might go even higher even lower okay we might go even lower we need to be careful but if bitcoin can make here a swing high if bitcoin can make here a swing high and eventually go to the 48000 usdt before we go down guys if we can make that then matic i believe will just re retest the 2.05 will retest the 2.05 and afterwards we will see what we will do because now we found resistance and if Matic out underperforms against Bitcoin by the time that Bitcoin does that then we might not a get a significant upward situation but it is very possible that we can retest the 2.34 if Bitcoin has a swing high here let's hope let's hope that the 200 EMA won't be our resistance line for the next time being and of course if i go to the four hour frame chart let's hope that the yellow line won't be our resistance line for the next time being because you can see the 20 day ma back from the day it is playing the resistance role so we want to see if we can actually move our past the uh this line here and maybe we can test the 48,000 usdt around this area guys if we go there and test if this is a reversal head and shoulders pattern guys and we go upwards in the swing high we might see a nice momentum for matic and or the other altcoins but if it can't make this swing high if we can't go above the 200 the uh, 20 day ema and the 200 ema guys and we collapse even more by the time being then i don't think that matic will go upwards of course it will follow the bitcoin trend and will go down to the 1.43 maybe 1.23 okay so we have to be careful and as long as we are going down we want to buy the dip put some money here put more money on 1.23 and so on as we dip down you want to put more money because eventually if we go upwards guys you will be gaining tons of money tons of profits because this is a short term mid short mid term scenario for the long term matic will hold strong and of course guys don't 
panic, don't even panic, but right now for Bitcoin, we might have a further consolidation. Even if we see a swing high here, as I've explained, then we might see a downfall. So this is my scenario here. This is what I see through the technical analysis. If we can manage, even if we can manage to have a higher high here, we will eventually go into lower support levels and the 28,000 USDT for me is inevitable to approach. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Stay tuned for many, many more videos. Bye.